Welcome to Candlewick Library. I'm Cheryl. Today I'm still talking about adaptations. Today I'm going to mention the adaptations that I love both almost equally. So number one is goes back to the last video. I talked about The Lost World being an adaptation that I hated. Jurassic Park is the first one I'm gonna talk about on this list. Even though there are a lot of changes in the adaptation, they really kept the heart of the story of Jurassic Park and they just made it so magical. I think probably part of that was the time period it was made and the kind of movies I'd seen up until that point in my life. Jurassic Park was just so mind-blowing of how real the dinosaurs looked. And I very clearly remember the first time I saw it in the theater. So Jurassic Park is just, it's just one of those, those movies that captured my imagination and, and as someone who loves reading and watching things about dinosaurs, I really loved it. Number two is one I've talked about quite often, which is the Guernsey Literary and Potato Pill Pie Society. So if you don't know the storyline, it's told through letters of an author. There's a man on the island of Guernsey who finds a book that used to belong to her and her name and address are on it and he writes to her and they start a correspondence and she is so compelled by the story he tells her of the Nazi occupation on Guernsey and this group of people there who created a book club. And so she goes there to meet them and it is just, Oh, it's such a it's such a good story and I love the book it's one of my favorites but I love the movie too that the casting was really well done and they really kept the heart of that book and they kept it very close to the book there's even one character that I didn't especially like in the book and they made him likable in the movie he didn't need to be someone you hated I found that he was even more likable in the movie so I just all around I loved it Number three is the Twilight series. I've talked about those books on here before. They get a lot of hate, but I, I enjoy the Twilight series. I think it's entertaining and fun, and I know that it's not the best written book series ever when I'm reading it, but I enjoy it. And I, I did care about what would happen in it. And I found that the movies, I do enjoy them enough that I have watched them multiple times. I feel like the first one was the least well done. I do think that they look better, that the characters look better, and everything looks better as it goes along. I think that they could have done better with the adaptations, but I feel like they did a decent job. Number four is The Hunger Games. This is another series that I really, really like the books. I didn't know what they were about when I started reading them, and I was sucked in and just breezed through the whole series. I didn't think that I would like the movies as much because I wasn't sure how the amount of violence in the books would would transfer to the screen since I really don't like watching a lot of violence, but I actually think they did a really good job with that. I've heard a lot of criticisms about The Hunger Games that I actually don't think they deserve. I think that Jennifer Lawrence was great as Katniss and there were certain things, of course, throughout the whole series that I think probably everybody has some things that they wish were different, whether it's in general storyline or just in the adaptation of it. But I feel like they did a really, really good job. I can't actually think of anything that I don't like about the movies. I think The Hunger Games is one where I really do equally like them. Number five is Christy by Katherine Marshall. That is the book that tells the story of the young girl who goes up into the Appalachian Mountains to be a teacher. And there was a TV series made about it. And I really loved it. I, I think it's a really great TV series. So I think that I like those about the same as well. Number six is Little House on the Prairie. I think that the books get a little bit higher than the TV show, but I grew up watching Little House on the Prairie, and I don't think I read the books until I was an adult. I don't remember if we read them when I was a kid or not, but I really, really loved the books, but I really loved the show. There, there are certain episodes of the show I don't like as much, and I know that they've changed a lot of things in the TV show, but I still really enjoy it. Number seven is Johnny Tremaine. I was just talking to Alma, at Alma's Book Journey um, the other day about this because she said she was gonna read the book. This was a book I only read for the first time a few years ago and I this was in a movie that I grew up watching. I watched it almost every 4th of July probably growing up and I loved it. Of course, as a young girl, I had a crush on Johnny and his friend, but that wasn't the only reason I liked the movie. I thought it was such a fun, patriotic movie. I loved it when I went to Disney World and found that they had the Liberty Tree there in Liberty, square and so when I read the book 
I was expecting it to be like the movie. There definitely were differences, but I really, really liked the book too. So I think that they're about the same. Number eight would be Little Women. I love Little Women by Louise May Alcott, but I also love the 90s movie with Winona Ryder and Christian Bale. That one definitely has some things that are changed in it, but they really keep the heart of the book. And I think, I just don't think anyone's ever gonna make a Little Women. I like more than that one. I do like the longer form PBS one that was made a few years ago. And that did have things in it that were in the book that the 90s movie left out. I really liked the depiction of Professor Bear in that one. I think that he was closer to the books, Professor Bear for sure. And I loved the guy that played Laurie in it. I feel like if there was a, re a redo of Anne of Green Gables, he would be the only acceptable person for Gilbert Blythe. But I still like Christian Bell as Laurie better. And I love Winona Ryder as Joe. So I, that 90s one will just not be topped for me. There are some days when I think I love the movie better than the book, and then other days when I don't. So they have to be pretty equal. Number nine is Anna Green Gables itself. This is my favorite book. I love the whole series. I've read all of the books multiple times, and I love the Anna Green Gables and Anne of Avonlea, the first two movies that were made, I believe they were made in the 80s. That's when I started watching them. There definitely are things that were changed from the book into those movies, but I don't think that those took away from the story. Yeah, there's things that would have been great to have in it, but overall, I don't feel like it took away from the story. It definitely had the heart. Megan Follows is such a perfect Anne. Jonathan Crombie was such a perfect Gilbert. I don't know all of their names, but... Marilla and Matthew were wonderful. Miss Stacy was wonderful. Just everybody was so good. So it is really hard to say that I love the book better than the movie when I love those movies so much. So I would say that they have to be considered pretty close to equal. Number 10 is very in line with that. It is The Road to Avonlea. So that is based on the books, The Story Girl and Chronicles of Avonlea. They, take, they even take some of the stories from the Anna Green Gable series and put them into Road to Avonlea as episodes. And I really like those books, but sometimes I think I like the TV show even more. So they're very close to each other in, in how much I love them. I love The Road to Avonlea. That is my favorite TV show. Probably every other year we start it over again and watch through the whole thing. It just tells a story of the story girl, who is Sarah and her cousins, the King family. It's just such a fun story. There are a couple of episodes I don't like. That I end up skipping. But for the most part, I love the show and I love the acting. I love the people that were chosen for the characters. It's just got a lot of heart. It feels very much like the Anna Green Gables and Anna of Avonlea originals. Number 11 is Harry Potter. Of course, that would have to exclude Prisoner of Azkaban because of having that in the other video. But for the most part, I feel like they did the Harry Potter movies really well. They definitely are not up there with the books for me, so I can't quite say that they're equal. I do love the books more than these movies, but I feel like these are really well done adaptations that I enjoy watching. I am hoping that I'll love the series even more. I do enjoy them so much and I do rewatch them quite often, and so I think that they have to be counted in this video. Number 12 would be The Chronicles of Narnia. I really loved The Lion and the Witch and the Wardrobe adaptation that Disney put out. After that, the next two that they made, I liked, I didn't I didn't like either of the next two as much as the first one. Like now looking back, I, do, I can't remember what the things were that I had problems with. I just remember being disappointed with a few things. But overall, for the three movies, I really liked them. This is kind of like Harry Potter. I'm never gonna like them as much as I love the books but I really do enjoy them and I've watched them multiple times. I am disappointed that they stopped, that they didn't make any more of them. Number 13 is Sense and Sensibility. That is my second favorite Jane Austen book. If you want to guess which is my first, you can comment below and I'll see if you're right because I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it on here before. But Sense and Sensibility is my second favorite Jane Austen. There have been two adaptations of the movie that I've really enjoyed. One was a more recent one where Dan Stevens, he plays Edward. And I did really like that one. And in some ways I think it's, in some ways I think it's better, but I still love the one that was out, came out in the 90s more. This is the one where uh, Emma Thompson plays Eleanor and Kate Winslet is Marianne. I absolutely love that movie. And recently after my daughter read the book, I was watching it and she watched it with me and she liked it too. And she's a lot harder on adaptations than even I am. So I just, I just feel like they did such a good job with that movie. I feel like everybody played their parts so well 
And so it was an adaptation where everything I wanted for an adaptation for Sense and Sensibility, that movie has. That is my final one for adaptations that I think they did such a good job that they are right there with the books, right below it or about equal. So let me know, again, just like with the other two videos, let me know if you agree or disagree with any of these. If there are any adaptations that are so close to the book for you like this that you can't sometimes decide which one you like better.